On July 28, 1402, on the Chubuk Plain near Ankara, the Battle of Ankara was fought between Ottoman Sultan Bayezid I and Amir Temur. Bayezid I, also known as the Thunderbolt, was born in 1360 in the Ottoman Beylik. He decisively defeated the Crusaders at Nicopolis in 1396, whereas Shujauddin Temur or Amir Temur was born in 1336 at Kash. In his life, Temur fought a total of eight battles and was victorious in all of them. By 1370, Temur was ruling most of Central Asia. Temur continued with the invasion of Central Asia and in 1381 started the conquest of Iran, which was conquered by 1386. Between 1391 and 1395, Tukhtamish of the Golden Horde was defeated twice by Temur. In 1399, Temur and Bayezid's domains were now bordering each other. Temur didn't want to start a war against a fellow Muslim empire, hence a long letter correspondence between the two leaders began. One of Temur's letters said, Be wise and repent. Avert our vengeance. You are nothing more than an ant. Don't provoke the elephants or you will get trampled. And Bayezid answered, If I run from your armies, may all my wives divorce me. But if you dare to run away from mine, may all your wives belong to other men. This war of words was leading nowhere. And Temur moved to the west again, conquering Armenia and Georgia in 1400. By the end of 1401, Temur took Sivas from the Ottomans and turned it into his base. That was the beginning of the war. When Temur besieged Ankara, Bayezid lifted the siege of Constantinople and moved his troops to Anatolia. His troops reached Ankara by June of 1402. Temur retreated to draw Bayezid away from his defensible position. Bayezid, on the other hand, knew that Temur's forces would raid from the east. Hence, Bayezid left a small garrison. and marched his troops towards the enemy the ottoman army mounted a road between sivas and tukar as bayezid hoped to use the dense forest of the area to diminish any advantages temur horse archers may give him this maneuver meant that temur would either have to fight at a location not suited to the strength of his forces or retreat from anatolia however temur chose a third option his huge army vanished and ottoman scouts failed to find it temur moved to the southwest and took kayseri Bayezid was still sure that he would find his enemy to the north. Temur continued towards Ankara and ended up behind the Ottoman forces. The Sultan learned about the brilliant maneuver of his enemy when Ankara was besieged. Bayezid couldn't allow Temur to ransack his lands and so had no other choice but to force march his tired troops to Ankara. The Battle of Ankara took place on July 28, 1402. Temur's army was a traditional Mongol Tatar force with a significant number of horse archers. He also had a few dozen armored elephants captured during his invasion of India. Meanwhile, the Ottoman army was a mix of old Seljuk irregular forces, Tatar mercenaries, a small professional army corps created by the earlier sultans and Eastern European knights led by a Serbian vassal of Bayezid, Stefan Lazarevich. At the beginning of the campaign, Temur and Bayezid had similar numbers with more than 100,000 troops. But it is said that the Ottoman sultan lost at least 20,000 during the first march from Sivas to Ankara. Temur divided his horse archers into four groups, with one in the center, two on the flanks, and one more in reserve. While his elephants were positioned in the vanguard, Bayezid had a strong center with archers in front, janissaries in the second line, and sipahi cavalry in reserve. On the left, he placed the Serbian cavalry of Stephen, while his right was manned by the troops from Anatolia and the Tatar mercenaries. Temur moved his wing forward while his center lagged behind. The battle started on the Ottoman left as their Serbian troops were attacked by the enemy cavalry, but they managed to stop them and inflict substantial damage. A more wave was sent against the Serbs. This time, an attempt to outflank them was made, but Stephen's forces stood their ground. Meanwhile, Temur's left flank attacked the Ottoman right, commanded by Prince Suleiman. Temur also sent his center forward to tie down by these janissaries. Something unexpected for Bayezid happened on his right flank, as all 18,000 of his Tatar mercenaries changed sides and joined Temur's attack on the Ottoman right. Suleiman was encircled, and Bayezid had to send his reserve to help. 
On the left flank, Serbian units were now attacked by even more enemies, but despite increasing casualties held them off, sources claimed that Stephen sent a messenger to Sultan suggesting a retreat. It was still possible, but Bayezid rejected it. At this point, Prince Suleiman was ordered to withdraw to save his life, but Stephen was told to hold his flank with a portion of his forces and cover the retreat with the rest. Tamur sent his reserve on a deep flanking maneuver and both the right and left flank of the Ottoman army were overrun by their foes. Still, the Serbian forces managed to use their advantage in armor to break out of the encirclement and join Suleiman in his retreat. The remainder of the Ottoman center was slowly pushed towards a hill called Ketel Tepe. It is said that Bayezid along with the Sipahis and Janissaries was able to hold off the enemy for hours, despite being severely outnumbered. Later, he was able to break the encirclement with his bodyguards, but an arrow killed his horse, and for the first time in history, an Ottoman Sultan was imprisoned. Although both forces lost a significant number of warriors, Temur had a decisive win.